So I got my hands on a G29 set with the little with the little one two. Okay, no, okay. But my setup is well questionable at best. You can see it's not the most uh, stable of of setups. And I want to use the G29 not on this monitor, but on this thing is not being used at all, and I decided to, well, use it for my very cool, very not sculpt sim rig. So, my idea is somehow to build some kind of contraption to put the wheel and pedals and everything around here. Uh, so it's close enough to the computer. So yes, welcome to this video where I will do the most ridiculously scuffed Poverty spec sim rig you've ever seen. Now, as I've shown, I am very adept at, well, building beyond scuffed workplaces. Or what, I don't even know what you would call this thing, but this is where I will do all the magic. Uh, look, I know this looks extremely poverty. It is, but, uh, well, I've got other things to spend my money on, mainly the BMW. So yes, I will use my skills of building beyond scuffed, but somewhat sturdy desks. I will now do the same thing here, hopefully. My plan is on using my summer rims, using them as the base for a homemade sim rig desk, and using these wardrobe... <laughs> these, <laughs> these wardrobe wings as the base, as the as the actual base surface. So we have somewhat of an idea. So yes, I'll be using rings and tires and wardrobe wings, wardrobe doors to build some kind of ridiculous, ridiculous sim rig. Like I said, the most ridiculously scuffed poverty spec sim rig you've ever seen. Only the worst quality videos here on the Zerga channel. So I actually have experience using wardrobe parts. These are wardrobe shelves. I stole them from here. They sit here. You can see the little notches. So yes, now there is less space for footwear, but we've got a very, very cool looking <laughs> desk because this is somewhat adequate as a height. And that is what we're looking for height-wise for the wheel. Because I thought about using this wing that I've already uh, well made, but it just sits a bit too low. It's like I'm driving a truck or something. But if you switch this to here, the driving position gets very comfortable. But I don't want to use the 24 inch. I want to use the 45 inch TV and I have nowhere to put it. That's why we're doing this ridiculous thing. Now you understand my idea. I want to do to make this well, free, completely free. Let's see if my plans will actually work. I mean, it's going to be a very, very high quality desk surface. But I realized something, something is very important. That TV is not particularly new. It's not a smart TV. It's not, it's not the best. I first need to check if that TV actually supports 60 Hertz. Yes, I know this is in the background. This looks ridiculous. We have a connection, but uh, well, the quality is questionable. Very questionable. It is a, you see it comes in as, as display AAA, which you can guess that this is not the most quite quality unit out there, but it is a 60 Hertz display. So I will definitely need to play around with the quality of the screen because, well, it's really hard on camera, but this is how it looks. And this is how a good monitor looks. So, tests are done, it works, 60 hertz. Now let's see what we can do. Right, let's get to work. I'm planning on using this area as the other, the other leg for my uh, table. And I'm thinking of just plopping these down here. I should be careful not to scratch anything.
I mean, that is somewhat okay. So I've added some kind of protection to the rims. Uh, I don't think we're going to do a lot of damage with this thing, but still, okay. Ridiculous, dude. Honestly, this is not half bad. I thought I would want it to be a bit higher, but when I sit like this, it's quite good, actually. This is still quite wobbly. Mainly, obviously, because, well, one of the edges is on a mattress. But well, this might you know give effect. This is like this is this has become now. A, this will become a motion sim rig now. All of a sudden, from a sculpt sim rig, this is a motion sim rig because we have the bumps. But this will have this has a slight issue. I want the TV to be on here. Even though right now it's not too bad. Even though the position is not entirely horrible. Obviously, you can see the screen, and it's still like better than. The small screen, still far away. I really want it to be on this, but this just feels, this just doesn't feel too, it feels sketchy. Right, so this was my initial idea, but it might actually be a, a bit too close, honestly, but it might not be, dude. But I still, I would still be worried. Maybe if I can figure something out, to just place it right behind, right here. Hmm. That would definitely help, but I am quite limited on <laughs> how many more, uh, well, how many pieces of wardrobe I can steal. I'm not touching the TV. It's not moving. I, I doubt we're going to get more, more bounds than that. So I think, I think we should just give it a try. I've ever already actually connected as you can see like shit's wild the cables are everywhere it's not optimized let's try and let's just let's just fucking try this looks interesting okay okay i would definitely say the quality is not very good but okay this is this is not good <laughs> i've been playing around with the setup There we go. Apparently, the most scuffed sim rig is actually good. As you can see, it's actually gotten a little dark outside. I did. Uh, I did not stop playing after I set up set everything up. It is fun. It is quite fun. This thing, <laughs> as ridiculous as it is, as it is, it is. It was fun. Okay. I, yeah, I like this. I like this. So even though it's absolutely ridiculously scuffed. It does work. It does take up a lot. Most ha, it does take up like a solid thirty percent of the room. Um, obviously, surprisingly stable. This thing. It's it. It is fun, man. <laughs> it is fun. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this most ridiculous thing. And um, yeah.